I want to talk a little bit about what the pelvic floor is. A lot of people don't really understand what it is or where it is and what it does. The pelvic floor can be thought of as the base of your torso. So if you think of your torso as a cylinder or a soda can, your diaphragm is the top of your soda can and your pelvic floor is the base. And then the walls of your cylinder are your abdominal muscles, your back muscles, your rib cage kind of sits above that. And that helps contain all of the pieces of your, you know, the, all the stuff that's inside. So your diaphragm and your pelvic floor, when you're in a neutral spine, so not slouched and not super arched, not leaned off to one side, but when you're in a neutral spine, your diaphragm and your pelvic floor can communicate with each other and they should communicate with each other. And so um, extensive time in you know, posture where those two surfaces are not in alignment can disconnect your, your uh, diaphragm from your pelvic floor. And you want those two to communicate with each other. Your diaphragm is a muscle that lies just at the base of your ribs here. Its shape at rest is kind of up in a dome down on your organs and when that happens it presses down on your pelvic floor and can allow a gentle facilitation of a relaxation response and then on an exhale your diaphragm goes from that dish shape back up to a dome shape and allows the organs and everything to pull up which then allows the pelvic floor to contract and lift up as it as you exhale so to demonstrate that just a little bit I've got this and I've got a pelvis. So your pelvic floor is down in here in the base of your pelvis. And as your diaphragm descends and expands, it's gonna drop down with your organs down into your pelvic floor and press down on, your, on the muscles down there. And that will help facilitate that relaxation. This is the same in all genders. It doesn't, you know, it's not gender specific. And as you exhale, as you go back to that contracted or that, that relaxed, technically relaxed phase of your diaphragm, it lifts up and allows a contraction response in the pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor is thought of in three layers. So you've got the innermost layer, the outermost layer, and the layer in between. Your outer two layers are your sphincter layers. So those are the layers that are primarily responsible for continence or keeping fecal and urine matter where, where you want to, and then relaxation when you're trying to void. And your innermost layer is your suspensory layer for your organs. They all work together. You can't say, oh, I'm going to contract or relax just one layer. Like they all work together, but they have slightly different jobs that they do. So that's what the pelvic floor is. And that's a general sense of how to engage both rela a relaxation response and a contraction response using inhale, exhale. So inhale to relax with your diaphragm. Feel that gentle press and stretch in your pelvic floor and then exhale and feel a contract and lift. You can couple that with a Kegel or a pelvic floor contraction to help feel facilitate that lifting response as you exhale. And that's the pelvic floor.